You're back. I'm John Case. This is What Matters Most. And now we are live in the studio with Allison Thorne, the facilities manager from Connections Work. And Connection Works, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she asked me earlier if I ever make any funny mistakes. They're never funny. They're just like that. And the always handsome Andrew Finley. Andrew, what is your secret? Uh, rarely shower and uh, buy your clothes at Value Village. Really? I've been trying that for years, and I do not get similar results. <laughs> oh my and results is what we're here to talk about, That's isn't right. it? Uh, yeah. Sales week. So sales, businesses regularly start up fail in the first couple of years. Uh, the results are usually one of two things, either spending too much money or not making enough. Those are, of course, related. But sales isn't really looked at as if it's uh, a profession. We've had uh, Jerry Pond, who's a local business godfather, who's offered a bajillion dollars to any university that'll offer a sales program. Yeah. Uh, you folks are stepping up and you're launching Sales Week at Connection Works. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so this is our um, kind of like what you spoke upon. There is definitely a need for some formalized sales training here in St. John. So uh, we thought, you know, as Connection Works, we're the entrepreneurial hub of St. John. Sure. We focus on uh, everything small business, medium sized business. We help you grow. So we thought, why not kick it off? Um, so this is our first annual sales That's week. That's right. Yeah. I think it's kind of a follow up. Earlier this year, we had the biggest East Coast Startup Week in Atlanta, Canada. And then we followed that up with New Brunswick Innovation Week. And then we kind of decided, you know what, we should do a sales week. What we've been finding is um, a lot of people who get into entrepreneurship, they might not have your typical business background, but that's okay because uh, there are resources within the community like ConnectionWorks where you can go and kind of get that training as an adult. So what we've done is try and bring in people from a few different fields sure. and uh, yeah. it's all about you know, giving that sales training so that they can generate revenue. Right. Yeah. The sales isn't something that everyone knows how to do. I mean, it's not always just as simple as saying, hey, do you want to buy this? Sure, I want to buy that. You know, there's kind of that old school mentality where if you ask enough people to buy something, people will buy it. But this is uh, sort of a little more professional. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got some mm -hmm. good people coming in to talk about it. Can you talk to me about some of the people coming in? Either one of you? Yeah, for sure. So um, kind of our headliner event, our kickoff, we're having the phone lady. So her name's Mary Jane Cobb. So she's kind of very, very renowned. Um, around Atlanta, Canada, around Canada. Um, Why do so they call her the phone lady? So she specializes <laughs> in um, phone sales techniques. So she's coming okay. in for two workshops. So you can go to one or you can go to both or you can kind of do a full day of uh, sales training. So her right. first workshop is using the phone to book meetings and close sales. Um, and then in the afternoon, she's creating consistent revenue and how to design a foolproof sales plan. So typically her, um, her workshops are designed around using the phone to um, do business kind of in any sense. So we've kind of aligned with her to have the workshops um, focused specifically on sales training and kind of bringing the revenue home. So, right, so she's yeah. taking your phone conversation beyond, hey, what's up? Exactly. Do you want to buy my stuff? Absolutely. Exactly. And I think, you know, as um, a lot of entrepreneurs, we're millennials, and mm. I think we're a little bit afraid of the phone. We live in such a digitalized world that uh, picking up the phone isn't, you know, what it used and to it, be. And it's so. not something that comes easy. Cold calling, it's hard. Once you've yeah. kind of exhausted your warm circle of clientele, yeah. moving outside of that, especially on the phone, it's not something that everyone's acclimated to. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. And I mean, there's probably a lot of people sitting at home and some people in the studio even who haven't used their phone to make a phone call yet this week. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, use it for text messaging, for email, all sorts of things. So it's, uh, it's a whole other set of skills. Exactly. Um, so aside from the phone lady, who do we have coming in? So yeah. Wednesday the 28th from 1, or pardon me, 12 until 1.30, yeah. we have Nikki Falavina. I hope I didn't butcher your name. <laughs> She's with Intellisys, and she is an inbound marketing specialist. So okay. she is going to kind of run the gambit from social media, content creation, uh, not just having a website, optimizing that for search engines so that you get noticed. Um, at times, I think we use our phones to do everything. Sure. We are social except media make phone people. Calls. Except yep. <laughs> make phone calls. Um, we may use them socially every day, but there are different applications for business. Just because you're good socially with social media and on the web doesn't mean that you're doing it right for your business. Sure. So she is a, an expert. She's HubSpot certified as of this year. Yeah. Um, and she's just going to be great. Exactly. So what do you think are some of the strategies she's going to talk about? You know, you mentioned being good at social for yourself versus being good at social for your business. So yeah. maybe your business contacts don't want to see a picture of the pad thai that you made at home. Mm. 
So I think it's kind of focusing on um, website optimization, so SEO, keyword research, landing pages. Um, it's a lot of kind of this inbound marketing. It's a newer term. It's really trendy. So I think um, it's going to be great to have Nikki come in and really just simplify it and explain it and you know, allow entrepreneurs and to utilize she's, it. She's a content creation specialist yeah. as well. Okay. So I guess coming up with that campaign that's going to kind of hit your niche market and uh, get people not just coming to see you once, but being return visitors. Yeah. Sure. And kind of aligning those sales and marketing strategies to consistently bring revenue home. So I think it'll be really great. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a new topic for us, something that we haven't covered before. So we're really excited. And she's uh, a recent grad. She's young. So it's nice to have some fresh energy. And I don't yeah. think that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it's a great thing. She's bringing new ideas, new strategies to the table yeah. that maybe someone who'd been in the industry 30 years might not even be thinking it might not be on right. the radar. Not even on the radar for them. Yeah. Exactly. So you've got, uh, you've got the phone lady, so somebody who's here to talk to folks about reaching out to customers. You have someone coming in to talk about inbound marketing, how to optimize that. So we've got two aspects covered. Uh, what else are we doing? So our final events. So um, on Thursday the 29th, um, we're having bottom line of B2B sales panel. Okay. So it's going to be hosted by Mark Breen. He's an economic development officer with Enterprise St. John. So yes. we have a panel level B2B sales experts, uh, Lori Weir, Gary Werner of Innovatia, and Stephanie Turner. So um, in the past, panel style um, workshops have really been ideal because they really, you know, allow um, questions to be answered from a variety of perspectives, and they truly allow kind of optimized learning potential. So it kind of allows a dialect crowd can ask questions, um, the panel feeds off each other. So I think that it'll be a great way it's to finish a, up the week. Yeah, it's a, it's a great finale for the week. Yeah. Um, because we're going to have people from different fields. Yes. And when we have this type of roundtable discussion, they might not uh, be in the same field as you, but they may have an answer for the problem you're having. Right. So generally, we will finish off with a bit of a roundtable discussion with the panelists and people watching. And uh, in the past, they've become you know, a great finale for the and, and you've got a couple of people on that panel who've really proven they can deliver results. Exactly. Absolutely. They're all executive level, you know, 20, 30 years experience in their specific fields and a range of um, work experience. And I think the other thing that um, really kind of resonates with Connection Works in these panel discussions, I can't, you know, count the amount of times that after the panel, uh, an entrepreneur or a small business owner goes up, shakes hands, and they kind of formulate this mentor-mentee relationship. So Absolutely. that's the other thing that kind of goes into play here and um, really generates those long-lasting relationships. That's right. Yeah. Lots, of, lots of good networking at the event, I would imagine. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely. And that's the nice thing about St. John. And, you know, we have that one degree of separation. So, <laughs> you know, maybe um, that panelist can't help you with your specific question, but absolutely they know somebody who can help you deliver at home. So, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Um, so there's pretty much not a business in the region that couldn't do with more sales. So Absolutely. how do you register so that you can make sure that you get a spot? So Facebook. Go, go to, our, to Facebook our Facebook page. page. Um, and then so we have each event. Um, it has its own um, kind of landing page. And then we each have also Eventbrite, if you're familiar with that. That's where you can purchase your tickets for the sales lady. Um, they're on early bird pricing until next Monday, the 21st. So I would suggest you go buy your tickets. And then... Um, um, our two other events are free of charge for the public. So oh, we really just, yeah. And we like to kind of do Might that. Might be nice of you folks. Ex yes, yes, yes. We like to do that combination of, you know, having one event at a cost and then um, having the other event just really bringing in the crowd. So it's good publicity for us. Absolutely. And, yeah, generates that community that Connection Works is all about. Right. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit. Um, I know we've, we've talked a lot about what's going on around the event, but how important is, uh, is growing sales in any business, every business, I have a great, to St. John's economy. Great analogy yeah. that actually came out of East Coast Startup Week from one of our resident business mentors. And he, he did a one hour seminar. And for someone like me who, it, sales is not a big job requirement of being a graphic designer. Right. But if you can bring in contracts, every little contract helps. So sure. I, I went to the seminar with uh, Steve Mallet and he started talking about sales. and. One thing that I came away with is he said, I would rather you have 10 ideas than one that you're going to sink all of your money into. Um, find out what the market dictates. If people want your product, go out and try and get the sales. Worry about the product last. So what he was saying is, uh, 
don't sink your money into a product. Go make sure the market wants your product. Yeah. Right. Will the sales uh, make the product viable? And then kind of make the product the last thing that you go after. And I never thought about sales that way. Yeah. Right. Testing well, it's, that market. it's not usually the product that sinks your business. It's the fact that people aren't buying it. Exactly. Right. It's that whole market validation piece. You need to ensure that there's a market for your product or you're not going to sell Absolutely. anything. So, But I mean... Um, that's difficult when an entrepreneur is so excited about what they're doing naturally. So this kind of thing is a good um, reality check to kind of reel them back in and refocus. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, uh, 30 seconds. Give me the dates for the events again. And uh, your website was up a little bit earlier. Yes. Connectionworks.ca, where you can find these folks on Facebook. They're yep. very social media savvy, believe me. Social media, yeah. So September Sales Week, so 26th to the 30th, our first event, the phone lady, she's in September 26th. So Follow two up workshop. Wednesday from 12 until 1.30 p.m. with Nikki Falavina. And then on Thursday, our final event, B2B sales panel, that's from 12 to 1.30. So yeah, roll. we're excited. Right. Come on out. We hope to see you out there. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks, John. Allison, wonderful, wonderful to meet you. Andrew, good Thanks to see you. Thanks for having us. We will be back after the break, live from the Superstore with Vanessa Yurchison. Stay with us. Rock and roll.